Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the brand new Huawei P30 Pro that has literally just been announced. I've got my hands on one today. Huawei were kind enough to take me out for the launch in Paris and I just basically wanted to give you guys a good um, overlook and a kind of unboxing experience as soon as I possibly could. So apologies for the kind of janky setup. I am in my hotel room right now, but I'm gonna do the best I can with the equipment I've got. So bear, just kind of bear with me and we'll you know, get you all the specs and stuff and get you a look at the phone. But obviously the setup's not gonna be my usual standard, but I'm doing my best, so I hope it's okay. So, P30 Pro, they've also announced the P30 as well, along with a range of headphones. They've also got smart glasses as well, which, pretty, which uh, look pretty cool. Um, maybe something we might have an opportunity to look at in the future, I'm not quite so sure yet. But for, the, for now, anyway, the P30 is the focus. So this has got a Kirin 980 processor using EMUI 9.1, 6.4 inch, 2340 by 1080 display, which is a curved OLED display. So let's get this open. A little bit about saying it's a review device. Now I've got the breathing crystal, but it is available in a range of colors. I'll try and put it on screen now so you can have an idea. We'll put that to the side for the moment. So other things included, SIM eject tool. Now this one, because we're in uh, currently in France, it's got a case. Bear in mind, you may not get a case with it. So set your expectations to be that you're not gonna get one. And obviously if you do get one, that's a nice bonus. But this is just a very, it's one of just a flexible basic one. So um, should you be prone to dropping your device, I recommend you get something a little bit stronger. And then we've got a power brick. Now I'm sure this is gonna be a 40 watt supercharger. Yep, and that's the same that we saw with the Mate 20. Then you also got a USB-C cable and some headphones as well. Similar stuff that we've seen before. Um, so we're gonna get that out of the way. Let's get on to the main article. Oh, right, but now let's just take a quick second to look at that. Stunning back. Now I'm using the hotel lighting, so that's what you can see in a reflection there. I will take these stickers off eventually as well. Um, so some key kind of things to know as this will boot up. This is mainly aimed for the photog photography. They're really gonna, they said, rewrite the rules on photography. And as you can see on the back, this camera array, set the camera focus. So we've got a 20 megapixel, 16 millimeter wide f2.2, which is the ultra wide. There's a 40 megapixel, 27 millimeter f1.6, so a very shallow um, f-stop and depth of field on that one. That's just a normal wide angle. Then a eight megapixel, five times telephoto, which is an f3.4. And that gives you a, you know, with their 50 times um, digital um, zoom that gives you an equivalent of a th th over 1300 millimeter focal range which is ludicrous and the examples that they've shown us on this have been absolutely ri like ridiculous I will try and put some on the screen if I can remember or if I can find any for you as an example um, you've also got the depth sensor on there as well and also a flash other things we can see no you Headphone jack, they are still rocking the USB-C for the headphones. Speaker grill, your uh, dual SIM card, and you can also use their um, NM cards as well for expandable storage. This is a 256 gigabyte model, um, but you do have options for a 128, 256, and a 512. The 512 comes in um, an orange as well, which is very nice. Um, I believe that's gonna be some markets in the UK though, so it's not all of them. Okay, now I have swapped over my camera mode to try and show you this the best I can. I am fully aware that you can see some lines on the screen. Obviously, they're not there in person, um, but this is the best I can do on such a short amount of time with this camera. Not my usual camera either, so a little bit problematic there. Let's just go through some more of the specs. So this is actually using for the camera now a uh, RYYB sensor, so red, yellow, yellow, blue instead of the usual RGGB, which allows more light through. That's allowing 40% more light. And they're also using a 125% larger sensor as well, 
dual iOS as well in there. Other specs to note in terms of the camera that's at the front, we've got a teardrop camera. This is a 32 megapixel front camera, which is absolutely unreal. So as you can tell, they're not playing around when it comes to the cameras on this beast. There's a nice shot there. So yeah, uh, five colors, a 4,200 milliamp hour battery, and you can charge 70% of that battery within half an hour. The battery obviously is gonna hopefully come up like we saw with the Mate 20. It's gonna be something along the lifespan of that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on the screen in real time so you can see them back, but I've taken a wide, a one times, a five times, and then a 10 times optical. And you can just see for yourself the ridiculous amount of zoom that this phone has. Um, obviously this is the most basic of setups that I could do for taking photos and there's so much more we can do and that we will do but this is a predominantly an unboxing kind of first impressions of this device it definitely looks better in person than coming up on the camera which is a bit of a shame because i would like it to portray a little bit better but stay tuned for my full review where i can show you a little bit better in a bit more controlled lighting so i've got a little more a little bit more options in terms of uh, getting that color across on camera this is obviously as i said a very quick uh, hello there uh, video so you guys can see this device because this is an absolutely stunning stunning phone that screen is beautiful as well let's get you a little bit of a close-up now as I did say the display isn't like that in person it's a real shame it's coming across like that really but I wanted to give you guys a look at the camera predominantly and give you a little bit of an unboxing experience as well so I've done the best I can in the circumstances and I hope you all got hope you uh, or you guys don't mind that um, because I've tried my best in terms of audio as well bring in a microphone with me and it's a very janky setup but you know doing all I can so that's all the key specs Look out for the review. I'm also going to be doing some other comparisons with some other devices as well, um, especially if you've watched the video that also went up today. And I believe we're going to cover obviously the you know fingerprint sensor that's under the screen. We've got face recognition. There's uh, lots of other features that are on this device that we will talk about in the full review. But predominantly, I want to give you guys an idea of the camera and specs and stuff that this thing's got. The meat and potatoes of the phone, for example, and then we'll go over the veggies and stuff in the review. Very weird analogy, I'm aware of that, but that's the best I can do. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Loads of content coming up on this thing, as well as um, camera comparisons and all sorts of things like that. So stay tuned for that. More information to be on my social media about when it's gonna go up and all things. But as for now, big thank you to Huawei for bringing me out and to giving me one of these to get my hands on and give you guys some content on and I'll see you all in the next one Control.